This is Straff TV, my name is Kaka, and today I'm with Auntie Mina. Auntie Mina is my tutor in my financial studies uh, classes, and uh, this is our third, fourth broadcast. We are doing our fifth the coming week, or this could be the fifth one, and we will do one or two more, because now I am just about to start studying for my exams, internal exams by the examining body of the organizations that we work with and then the state exam ni kwamba masomo haya nimekuwa nikifuatilia na nimeweza kupiga hatua sana na unafanya kwanza mitihani yao internal alafu unafanya ya kitaifa by the state for people in america who'd like to join this project you join and then once you are licensed in washington state that license is applicable all over the United States, all the 50 states. Auntie Mina, uh, talk to your people. Thank you, John. And yeah. good morning to our audience and our followers on this podcast. Uh, uh, I hope um, you have been watching John and I share some of the financial uh, um, um, materials uh, during our podcast. And I hope you have learned and I hope you are curious enough to try and uh, set an appointment with John and just to find out more why John, what John is learning and what John, um, what John is finding out about and learn about the financial industry. So today, John is our, our training today that John is now in his uh, first uh, journey to get his uh, studying materials to start uh, study for his uh, state license in order for you to do the business here you have to be a licensed agent in this state of Washington the good thing that John shared with you you can do this business in all 50 states in America so if you move from Washington to a different state you can do do it from anywhere you want so that's good thing. So today, congratulations, John. You're already in the process of getting your studying material and start studying. Disciplinary, John, for here, if you really want to get your license, you can do it at no time. So you have 40, 30 days to study for that uh, license. So I'm going to touch on some of the, the uh, materials that we can share on this platform. The, um, our WFG is teaching us and trained us agents of what we should know of and what we should share with uh, the public at large. We do long-term care and long-term care is a very useful subject. We, everybody needs long-term care. There is a good chance you need it too. And 70% of people over age 65 will require long-term care services. 40% of those receiving long-term care are between 18 years of old uh, age and 64. So let's move on. And I'm not going to go into detail with each uh, subject because, John, we don't have enough time. We only have a very limited time. Estate planning, that is something also that we do teach people and show you that we have those products or we those services in our on our platform. We also do wills for those who want to um, make sure that uh, that that to whoever is going to be taking care of their of those uh, informations at the end of the day. We do the wills as well and we do the trust as well. But how about, are you saving for the future? You can start, change, and save for the future if you want to. And uh, the greatest miracle in life that you can change your life by simply changing your mind. And we all live in this country where everything costs money. And if we don't understand how money works and how we can simplify it to our daily life, it's almost like that we uh, we still live under um, at the same. We won't we won't be able to move ahead because we don't understand. We don't educate. We don't have a chance to to be trained on how on how money works. And um, we work hard, John. You work a full time job, 
and uh, I'm sure you are looking at uh, another way to leverage your income because uh, you know this is the United States this is not Kenya you pay more money here to live buy things live your life pay your rent all that kind of expenses you have to go through every day part of the thing I'm why I'm taking this course is to get new knowledge um, even if I don't take it as a job to do here I decided to pay for this course and learn because especially migrants we have so much money running up and down here we make enough money to survive here probably develop where you came from your country or even self-development way here but then money comes and goes you're waiting for the next paycheck and you have to wait mm -hmm. some things have to wait which need necessarily not wait because you have the money you spend it improperly and you have time you spend it improperly and time is actually very expensive we have limited time here so i have enough time i have spare time after work i have spare time on the weekends i'm able to share this information with people the reason i decided i'm no longer going to stay home relax and spend time spending time idle means spending money i'm either throwing parties I'm either thinking of what to do with the money I have, which has been making all week. Instead of that, let me make more money by taking this part-time job. Let me make money and help other people also to manage their money. That, if you have been consistent with us in this broadcast, Auntie Mina has said, we all have money, but we cannot manage money. That is not taught anywhere in school. But now we are taking the effort so that Somebody has money, spend it wisely. Secure the future. And interestingly, there is insurance in this country and it is huge. The other sources of money and just taking a small product that doesn't cost as much every day as you spend on your fun or waste or give away, mm -hmm. the difference is huge. That's correct, John. And uh, like I said, you work so hard, okay, but you don't know where your money is gone. And uh, we're getting old too. Are we planning for that time when we are retired, right? Are you planning to send your kids to college? Are you planning to enjoy, um, uh, to become uh, financial independent? Are you ready to go back home knowing that you have enough money to go back home and live your life and maybe help the community out there that they really need you. The subject of finance is a difficult subject. Just the same way accounting is hard in school. Not really hard, but not easy. Just the same way some subjects are difficult in school. But then, once they're simplified in a language you understand, you realize it is things you do every day, but then you don't have the proper breakdown of what happens. Kwa hivyo kwa kiswahili. Wale mulio toka Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, mulio kwa Afrika ya hapa Amerikani and you speak in Swahili. Meet me, look for me, talk to me, tutasemezana. And then uh, those of us who don't speak Swahili, and you're coming from whichever country, American citizens, immigrants, anyone, talk to Aunt Mina, talk to me, by the time I finish this course, it's a continuation of what I was doing in Kenya many, many years. Mm -hmm. And I'm at ease. I'm easy doing this. You will see the difference. And Timina, we are closing. Ali, today we have to go. Okay. Thank you, John. Now you've heard John. You heard him. He's becoming an expert. And, um, and uh, you, you're never too old to learn. You always have time to learn if you really want it. Be open mind be understanding that uh, there's always time to learn and thank you john and thank you to our followers thank you to those who watch john with his podcasts every time he's around this is a very very important subject and i think anyone needs this we all need it we need to understand how finance works and how money works if we don't then we'll always be living in that wondering where my money is going Thank you very much. At Truff, it's party time all the time. 
we party a lot but our biggest party is when we get one more subscriber coming to us i realize now we are almost speeding to 200 subscribers but we have stuck at 169 i was waiting for that number to get to 170 to see whether i can be able to do a live broadcast at ujaweza wetu wewe kama uko hapo na tuangalia sa hii subscribe to on youtube we are traf tv on facebook tuko na page tunaitwa traf tv pia and on instagram tunaitwa traf underscore tv this coming weekend tutakuwa live on youtube on facebook on instagram usikose you don't be able to get that notification if you have subscribed to us this weekend is party time we are celebrating our small success and our small success is what we see by the numbers that watch us and leave us very good comments for traf this is kaka she likes calling me john either way good morning traf tv have Thank a good you. day good day